geologists. Some people say that they are people who are just obsessed in collecting rocks. Or, they are just a bunch of alcoholic rascals who have just a knack for getting dirty, partying, or just being plain noisy. Well, they are not raw at some degree, but they do far cooler stuff than that. Today, I'm going to give you a brief introduction to the world of earth science and nature. Greetings, my name is Dogmatic Sage and this is Geology Made Easy. So you might be wondering, what does a geologist do? Why are they so important? Or what is the point of studying rocks to begin with? First, we need to define what they study. Geology Geology comes from the Greek word geologia, ge meaning earth and logia meaning study of. It is the study of the composition of the earth, both liquid and solid, and the processes on how they change over time. Well, geology isn't just only about studying rocks or looking at minerals. It is also studying the Earth's processes to have a better understanding of it and how we could use this knowledge for the benefit of mankind. The common notion when you hear about geology is volcanism and perhaps earthquakes. Well, yes, that might be some of it, but there are other fields just as important as well. I am going to flash you an image of the subfields associated with geology. Ready? Here it is. As you can see, it is quite a lot. You got economic geology, geochemistry, hydrogeology, paleontology, sedimentology, volcanology, and so much more. The list might not even be complete. With the emergence of new technologies, the field of geology gets more diverse and new specializations start to appear. We will talk about some of the few notable fields mentioned earlier. First is economic geology. Economic geology is concerned with the earth materials that can be used for economic and or industrial purposes. These materials include precious and base metals, non-metallic minerals, and construction grade stones. Economic geologists are the ones responsible to find areas which have economic value and have resources that can be mined for use. The salt you put in your food, the metal you use in construction and manufacturing, and the batteries you use in your phones and electronic devices are all thanks to economic geology. Next on our list is paleontology. Paleontology is the scientific study of life that can show what, and sometimes including, the start of the Holocene Epoch, roughly 11,700 years before the present. It includes the study of fossils to classify organisms and study their interactions with each other and their environment, or their paleoecology. Paleontological observations have been documented as far back as 15th century BCE. Paleontologists are the ones responsible in digging up rocks, using them to relatively date rocks, and perhaps speculate what is life millions of millions of years in the past. The reason why we have dinosaurs in pop culture references is thanks to this field of geology. And lastly, we got volcanology. Yes, that's right one of the most popular and well-known fields of geology. But what is volcanology? Volcanology is the study of volcanoes, lava, magma, and related geological, geophysical, and geochemical phenomena. The term volcanology is derived from the Latin word Vulcan, which is the ancient Roman god of fire. A volcanologist is a geologist who study the eruptive activity and formation of volcanoes and their current and historic eruptions. Volcanologists frequently visit volcanoes, especially active ones, to observe volcanic eruptions, collect eruptive products including tephra, rock, and lava samples. Each particular subfield of geology have particular role to play in benefiting us in our daily lives. 
but if I am not a geologist, why should I care? Well, it helps to appreciate the efforts of our geoscientists in helping and benefiting our daily lives with their work. It also helps us understand how complex our Earth is. Even if you're not a geologist, one could just read or look up little bits of information about the world around us to see the elegance and beauty of nature and the Earth. Once we understand our Earth's present and past processes, we might predict what is going to happen in the future. As one famous Brady once said, look deep into nature and then you'll understand everything better. Geology is an important science that unexpectedly enough impacts us in our daily lives. Today we learn about what geologists do, how they impact us in our daily lives and perhaps their significance. Now that we have a little background on what is geology and what geologists do, we need to know how the science came to be, and that's the topic for the next video. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and of course comment down below.